All right. Hey, welcome to today's um, today's live stream. I am Simeon Amberge, and uh, this is a joy to be with you all once again. And today we're going to be taking a look at uh, the grandeur from Native Instruments in partnership with Galaxy Instruments. Galaxy Instruments uh, has created, I think, some of the most uh, powerful and most beautiful piano libraries that are available uh, today because they just, uh, they've just they come up with Noir, which is, I think, their latest, um, their latest piano library, and we've, we got to take a look at that earlier uh, this week, and uh, just so appreciate you joining me. So let's just take a look. I mean, the, one of the things, uh, the beauty of the grandeur is, is in its simplicity and depth as well. You're presented with the just a very simple interface. There's there's not a whole lot to it, but yet there is a whole lot going on at the same time. The difference with the grandeur that I can tell already is that not only it's a Steinway D, but it's recorded in a concert hall setting instead of a studio. And that gives you a totally different, uh, again, a totally different perspective because as we saw with the uh, Garreton CFX and Noir, uh, the different rooms, like the Garreton was in the Abbey Road studio and the Noir was in a, in a more uh, intimate studio. And now the grandeur we, we see is in a huge concert hall setting. Let's just see what we've got. And this is just out of the box, just not tweaking anything yet. And you can hear the body, you hear the body of, the, uh, of that Steinway. That's the thing, the Steinway to me seems like it has more body and the Yamaha has more bite. I guess that's what you could say. Um, let's just get, uh, just get settled in. Can you hear that? You just hear that how it's just ringing out like that. And there's a lot of power to this as well. You can... Here we go. Yeah, uh, but you've got that, uh, you've just got that nice attack. Um, yeah, and it's, it's a, and so we can adjust that somewhat. And th that's what surprises me too about uh, the grandeur because you've got that, you've got that strength in the attack there. You've got the attack, but see, it's different attack than the Yamaha attack. The Yamaha is more metallic and bright and cutting, and there is a difference uh, with the Steinway, the way that that thing just... Uh... And see, I don't have any reverb or anything turned on. This is just uh, right out of the box, and it's just 
right now it's sounding fantastic. Um, so let's just open up this tone control and you see we have a, uh, an equalizer, like a three band equalizer. We can turn that on and off. Um, we can increase the bass. You can do the bass and you can cut the mid range down some or the body. And then the air probably just boost that top end. Yeah. So basically, it is a three-band equalizer, but they just named these bass, body, and air. Uh, so you can just put some nice top end to that. And what I'm hearing is that resonance, that just that, just that nice ringing after, that after ring. So it's just not dead. That's what I love is just the life coming out of the piano, just that release. You know, a lot of times you'll play a note on some instruments and it's just like you're hitting a brick wall, but I love to hear that breathe and that life. That's what, that's just what makes it so special. I'm gonna turn the equalizer off and then uh, let's check the lid position. See now, right now it's open. So now let's close it and hear the difference. Close it. Yeah, you hear the difference? Okay, so something, yeah. See, that's just a, a softer, more subdued sound. Or we can open the lid and you hear it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, let me just, let me just play a chord. Close it. It'll open it, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, so that just gives you some nice choices there. Um, while we're here at the tone, let's just adjust the... Uh, this is one cool feature that you can, you can get such a wide variety of colors. I'm going to turn the tone all the way to, uh, to the far... Um, as I'm looking at it, it's, it's, my, it's my far... Um, yeah, my far left. <laughs> so here we go. See, that totally changes the character. just totally changes the character. That's very beautiful. And then you can go the other extreme and make it really hard. And that takes the full attack. And that's where it gets real, almost brittle in some respect. And you hear the pedal resonance, you can see the indicator there. When I press the pedal, it turns, in, uh, turns on those resonant samples. And let's turn that up where we can really listen to that. Yeah, you and you hear that resonance when you're... Yeah. And then we're gonna... That must be in the release samples here. So when you hold the pedal down, that's where, that's where we're gonna hear that. Now let's turn this up. And you hear it open up with the, um, the piano resonance here. Okay, so we have tonal depth, like, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this back at the default position here. Um, 
And there's a lot of good ways that you can support our channel. If, you're, if it's your first time here, you can, you can always uh, subscribe and uh, click on notifications. And then, uh, you know, while we're live, we've got super chats that are available. And all those things just kind of help uh, support the channel and uh, subscribe and that kind of thing and share and like. Do, do all that kind of stuff. That's just such help. That's such a helpful thing to do. Um, so let's click on tonal depth. And, and again, we've, we've, seen, we've seen this in Noir as well. Uh, the tonal depth. And I'm going to just kind of... And for some reason, we're in E flat today. Um, yeah, and you hear those frequencies coming in. Yeah, so the tonal depth adjusts how resonant, how the strings are going to affect each other. You hear the you hear the difference there, and then we have um, adjustment for the transients. So we can um, let's see, yeah. So we can adjust the transients here. Let's go to C. Yeah. So it cuts off, and yeah. So it's it's a transient shaper. It it just yeah. And you hear all that messy stuff going on. All those overtones and ringing and resonance. All of those things really contribute to what makes that uh, characteristic sound. Yeah, so you can... Yes, so that, that just lets that pop a little bit. Yeah, you can get some really cool special effects like that. Um, and all, the, all of these things let you just finesse and fine tune the, the tone of the piano and the attack and the shape and the characteristics just to kind of help mold and fit it into whatever you're playing, uh, whatever song, your arrangement, your, you know, you wouldn't want to use a real popping piano sound like that uh, for everything. Uh, and you wouldn't want to use a real soft sounding piano for everything. But this allows you to go in there and get in between and do all that crazy stuff. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn that transient shaper off. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. I, I never know what, what keys we're going to be running into. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, okay, so let's just see what this is. Okay, so this is... So this has to... Okay, so this is the tonal depth control. Um, it's just so amazing to have all of you from, uh, you know, all over the world. We are just so... We're, we're, even though we're far apart by miles, we're so close. This, this just is so cool. Um, So this is the tonal depth, and, the, and, and I guess this will shape how it affects the, you know, like the lower keys all the way up. It's like a scaling. Uh, so we're going to just turn this all the way up, and then we're going to adjust this and just take a listen. Yeah. Yeah, so this shapes the tone and how it... Uh, how it is mapped across the, um, so it's more resonant when you go that way, and it's it's more natural when you go the other direction. And this this affects how much that uh, has to do with the keyboard.
yeah, that's pretty cool. got a compressor and that will just and so it's a it's like a uh, it's like a, uh, a tape simulator so you can got like a pop uh, and this tells the amount we want to do here yeah And that's kind of like uh, similar to what I was hearing with that transient shaper, but you can just you can just really squash it if you want. And then while we're live, just feel free to you know if you've got any questions or any any um, any any input or feedback, it's great to uh, to have that while we're live. And then uh, of course, if you're watching the replay, just go ahead and just leave. Uh, Leave your comments and questions uh, down there below, and uh, I will do my best to kind of follow up as best I can and answer those questions. I just love doing this. I love sharing uh, this kind of stuff with you guys. Uh, it's a great honor and privilege. Um, so let's go to the anatomy, the anatomy tab. Um, so this um, this adjusts like the dynamic range. So no matter how hard you play the keyboard, uh, like I think if this is, yeah, if it's all the way, uh, if it's all the way to the uh, to the left, um, it's going to affect. Um, no matter how hard you play, it's going to be the same note, or it's going to be the same sound. And then as we go towards the right. Um, Fully right, it's going to give you the, the widest. Yeah, so I'm playing very soft. Yeah, so that just lets you adjust that response. And uh, with this uh, SL880, um, I you've got to kind of get it in a nice a nice range. And so uh, you have the dynamic range, and then you have the keys here where you can uh, shape the velocity curve. And it has some presets here. Um, they they have they have it, of course, for the uh, Native Instruments Complete Control. Uh, I am going to. Just do a soft. Yeah, so when I hit the soft, I saw that little curve, and that's what I like to see. Uh, not just a linear curve, on, especially on this keyboard. Uh, a lot of times you'll just see it almost just look like a straight uh, straight uh, angle, or a straight angle. Uh, it'll be like this. And then, you know, just seeing that nice little shape that goes, goes down, it just helps me to see that, uh, that I can just really have where I can play soft and I can lay into it. And one of the things about all of the Native Instruments pianos is that you just really need to watch. If you don't, if you don't currently have the grandeur or any of Native Instruments pianos, uh, they typically tend to have special sales and that type of thing. Uh, where you could get uh, get them for uh, up to 50% off, and that's a great time to to get these beautiful pianos. It just gives you that response. Uh, Okay, and let's uh, choose the concert hall. And these are impulse responses that they took from this concert hall that they were in, so they can provide uh, a really uh, authentic experience here. So let's just turn. 
So this is with it fully on. I'm going to turn it off so we can hear it. Now, that's without any reverb. Now we have, now we have that. So it puts you right there in the end that hall. And then you have an adjustment for the size. So, You also have an adjustment on how on the distance. So let's just play with that. How far back you are from the Yeah, I'm gonna pull it way back and just, we can hear. Yeah, and you hear that delay when you hit the, hit. And now let's, let's back it down. Yeah. So you can tell how far you're sitting back of the audience. That, uh, that ham, that, that hammer just kind of, just ricocheting off the back of that concert hall. Let's put that in a let's put that in a cozier room here. Let's see. Ah, let's put it in a jazz hall. Let's take a listen to what that sounds like. And as I do these videos, I discover new things as we explore together. And um, very nice. Okay, let's try another. Um, let's try the piano room. Okay, so yeah, we got spring reverbs, a plate reverb. I like plates. It's, yeah, you hear it that nice. Um,
that's nice. That's a nice plate there. And Taj Mahal is just going to be just pretty epic. Just as far as the, the length. And then you can make it even bigger. Let's just take it. Let's just take it all the way and just see. Yeah, so you can make your spaces as as big or as intimate as um, as you want. Uh, so we've got like a piano room. Okay, that's pretty big. And then we've got the distance. Just being able to have simple, direct control is just, just what makes it... Uh... That sounds like a big piano room. Let's try these other this other one. never know where this is. And it's just beautiful from the from the bottom to the top. get lost in these and uh, it's just um and you know we are you know together all over the world and it's just it's it's really when you think about it it's really quite a miracle it's quite miraculous to know that uh, I'm sitting here somewhere in the middle of the United States and we've got people from the Netherlands from Germany um it's just um And it's just wonderful. And, and, you know, Ricky, yeah, North Carolina. I mean, I love it. And see, we can all come together. And, um, 
And that just gives me great joy. It gives me great joy to be able to share uh, with you guys. So, yes. Oh, man. So it's just like sometimes you just don't know where to go. I have a hard time. I have a hard time saying goodbye. Uh, okay. But you know what? I always learn, you know, you never say goodbye. You just say, uh, see you later. And... Um, and just, uh, well, we've got a few more uh, minutes. If there's anything else that you'd like to see about the grandeur or any questions about it, uh, you know, just just uh, let me know. Uh, man, Kiev, that is just amazing. Well, welcome. And, uh, <laughs> and we appreciate it. I mean, I really do. I appreciate this. And um, I appreciate the opportunity. And I do not take it for granted. And I just so appreciate all your support. It's amazing. He's got the whole world in his hands. 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 He's got you in North Carolina. In his hands, he's got you in Kiev. <laughs> in his hands, he's got you in Wales. In his hands, whoa, he's got the whole world. In his hands. Yeah, it's amazing. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for uh, being a part of this special time that we've got to share together, uh, looking at uh, the grandeur and... Um, Man, I'm just thrilled to be able to be with you guys again today. And listen, I'm telling you, we are just getting started. We are really just getting started. Uh, there are some very exciting uh, things coming. And if there are any libraries or uh, pianos there, or anything that you'd like to see featured, just, just let me know. Leave them in the comments because I love reaching out to these uh, companies that are, have been so gracious and so supportive of what, uh, what I'm trying to accomplish here. So I'm going to say goodbye for now. And um, so let me see. Yeah. So this has been the grandeur from Native Instruments in partnership with Galaxy Instruments. And I'm telling you, I love Galaxy Instruments and they are just so creative in what they brought uh, to us. And um, again, this is uh, this is Simeon from praisetracks.com. And once again, thank you so much for joining me and uh, just uh, when you click on subscribe and notifications, you know, when, when I post a live stream, I'm trying to post uh, post the uh, announcements a little bit earlier. And uh, four o'clock usually has been a good time that usually works out. And let me know if, if that works out for you guys. And, uh, and I just really appreciate you watching and just stay tuned uh, until next time. We'll see you soon.